on Keto Carnivore Nation. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Alice and we have Kevin here from Live and Low Carb and today is Saturday morning of a long weekend. We got up early this morning, we got a workout in and then we went straight to the grocery store. We went to both Whole Foods and Costco this morning. Yeah, so this is basically a keto slash carnivore Costco and Whole Foods haul. This is basically our typical shopping list. We thought it'd be a great opportunity to share with you guys what we buy in a given week and what we plan to do with our groceries. If you want to know how we shop on a weekly basis to maintain our keto carnivore diet, please keep watching. So we'll start with the foods we mainly eat for breakfast. The main staple being eggs. We usually eat three to four eggs a day, if not more. Yeah, we really like these Costco organic eggs because they are organic and they're a good deal. They come in 24 a pack. We do also like eggs from Whole Foods if they're pasture raised. And, uh, these are a great deal at Costco, so we always buy these every week. At least two packs because we eat so much of them. Some of the other foods that we include in our breakfast are some sort of side meat for some variation or variety. We like these, yeah. these uh, premium Texas chili sausages from, from Whole Foods. The macros are pretty good, one carb. We always look at the ingredients as well. The less ingredients, the better. There's no really weird ones here, so I'm pretty happy with that. These Welshire hot dogs Alice really loves as well. They're no sugar added, paleo friendly and gluten-free, but very low, zero carb as well, and only six ingredients, so we'd like to see that. These are both $7.99. Texas chili sausage was on sale for $2 off today, so it was a good deal. Another huge staple for us are avocados. We'll typically go through one or two a day. We usually serve them with our eggs or we include them in things like taco bowls for some to make some guacamole or just eat them by themselves when we're hungry. Another really big item for us is bacon. This is a three pack. It's a antibiotic free with no artificial ingredients but there is no sugar. And in terms of the ingredients, there's no weird things like nitrites or there's a little bit of cane sugar, but when you eat three to four pieces, we're not too worried. We're not super strict on that. This is a new find we saw today at Costco, these frozen grass-fed Angus burgers. I know in the States, we're coming from Canada, so I know in the States they sell the Kirkland brand, but this one is new, so we decided to try it out. I guess we'll see how it is, zero carb and only four ingredients. So yeah, we're pretty excited to try these and hopefully easy, quick dinner or lunch for us that we can just throw on the pan or the grill. And then of course, since we're doing carnivore, you need to do ribeyes. Yeah, since we do mixture of keto and carnivore, we always get the Costco ribeyes. They're a great deal even though beef prices have gone up. So we've kind of added some variation into our diet, but these are a staple for us. We'll eat ribeyes at least once or twice a week because they are high fat and very nutrient dense. They're also easy to cook too. Yeah. You can bake them, fry them in the pan. It doesn't take too long. Yeah, typically we've been doing air fryer or in the pan, but last week we sous vide for about two hours at medium, medium rare temperature and then leave it in there and it cooks automatically and then we just throw it on the pan to brown or throw it on the grill to get some crust on the outside and taste really good, just salt. Uh, another staple for us is this Kirkland organic ground beef. I think it's 85, 85, 15. Yeah, it contains 15% fat. So it's not the leanest, but it's also not the fattiest. So we kind of keep something in between. It's, it's a good deal for a three pack. Typically we use these for for taco bowls. Sometimes we'll make burgers, but we typically just do taco bowls because it's something we like to eat every week. Drop us down a comment below if you want to see a recipe from us on our taco bowls. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. They're definitely a staple for us too. Something we don't always pick up are chicken thighs, but we've been getting a lot of chicken wings and whole chickens lately, so we decided to just switch it up. We were thinking we might do some form of air fried chicken or we always just throw them in the oven too. And the skin gets really crispy and tastes really good. And we picked this up from Whole Foods. We'll usually get this once a week. 
it's basically just a whole chicken. This one brand is Maple Hill Farms, but there's a couple other brands we get. Yeah, it's really good. It weighs about three pounds. Yeah, we'll leave a link in the description below on how we make this in the air fryer. And yeah. we try to eat fish at least once a week, sometimes twice for the omega-3s and the other nutrients in there. But this is a whole wild sockeye salmon filet. This will basically be one meal for the two of us. We usually rotate between sockeye salmon and trout just to get some variety. And we'll either throw it in the air fryer, quick meal, or we'll bake it. Yeah. Um, it's about the same time, to be honest, between the air fryer and the, and the oven. So, but it's just a different way of eating it. Yeah. And we try to tend towards more fattier cuts of fish. Salmons, the trouts, sometimes cod, but mostly, mostly salmon and trout. And we do prefer the sockeye because it is wild. Yeah. As opposed to Atlantic salmon, which is farmed. And mm -hmm. you don't always know where farm salmon is coming from. Yeah. And if you are looking for farm salmon, check the label. It's from Norway. That usually means it's much cleaner and sustainable farming practices. Norwegian salmon is the best salmon. Yeah, Norwegian yeah. for sure. Actually, Ikea is a place where you can get yeah. Norwegian salmon. In Canada, they used to sell it at Costco, but they stopped. We also eat cheese and dairy sporadically. But this is a brand that we tried once at Costco and we really like. We get their butter as well. We have quite a bit of butter right now. So hard ripened cheddar cheese, zero carb, high protein, high fat. It's, and it's grass fed as well from Ireland. We usually throw it on our eggs, in mm. our taco bowls. Or we put it on top of the beef when we're making burgers. Yeah, sometimes we'll even just slice it up and have it as a snack. Yeah, and then since we're kind of like on a mixture of a keto carnivore diet, hybrid, I guess, we also do eat fruit as well. Small amounts, nothing too crazy, but we prefer berries. So these are some black berries that we got at Costco today. Just organic blackberries. Berries have high fiber and not too much sugar. So you can get away with a cup, a cup a day probably, depending on your activity. And then we also like blueberries as well. These ones aren't organic, but we don't always go organic. We're not super strict on it, but if we see a good deal and we'll usually go for it. We also have some other kind of more junk foody snacks here. So this one is a queso dip they sell at Costco. It was on sale today for eight dollars it's mainly cheese zero low very low carb actually pretty clean for a dip yeah if you look at the ingredients there's nothing too weird or nothing you can't really read we try to stick away from seed oils if we can so there is a little bit of carb but nothing i'm too worried about basically we'll put these in our taco bowls or we'll also eat it with pork rinds or <laughs> put it on our eggs put it on our it's eggs it's kind of like a yeah, it's really good putting the microwave and heat it up too. Yeah, goes with anything. It's just a cheesy dip. Yeah, and then Alice loves these Lily's chocolate bars. I like them too. You guys we, have seen Lily's on our channel before. Yeah, <laughs> no. we use their chocolate chips for baking. We don't eat too much sweets, but typically we'll eat a mainly carnivore-based diet, but then also mix in some keto, some keto desserts and treats along the way. High fat, only three net carbs. The sugar alcohols, you know. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Sunflower less than maybe not, but it's okay. We're not eating this every day, so you're okay to have some treats sometimes. So this is basically everything we'll buy in a single week. Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on what we have on hand, what we want to eat. Yeah. Sometimes we'll buy lamb, different types of beef different variations of chicken, <laughs> pork. Yeah. There's no pork here this week, but sometimes we do No, well, pork. there is the bacon. Oh, there's bacon, yeah, but there isn't uh, yeah. like pork chops or anything. Yeah. So, no, we, sometimes we buy those too. Yeah. So it really depends. You know, we, we tend to buy like whatever's on sale or what's a good deal. We try to be sporadic in that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so always go with an open mind. So the whole bill, you can see the whole bill here. This is the Costco bill. That does include some non... Yeah, it includes some paper towel as we, well. Yeah, so, so if you take up $25, so it's about the, 200 bucks. Yeah, about 200 bucks from Costco. Whole Foods was about 35 bucks, and that was for the chicken and the sausages and the hot dogs. Yeah, so that's about $240 for the two of us. Yeah. Keep in mind, we do live in Canada, and yeah. we live in a city with a pretty high cost of living, so yeah. 
got to factor that in as well. But this isn't, we don't spend this much every single week. Some weeks is a little bit less, some weeks is a little bit more. And keep in mind that we typically don't eat out very much. We do sometimes, maybe like once a week, but we've really tried to limit our eating out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like, because, you know, you're just asking for temptation. <laughs> yeah. And for example, like one typical meal, say if we're going to eat a steak, I usually try to get two pounds of meat per day is about a pound steak and then we'll maybe have some chicken wings on the side or um, another protein on the side and then we'll also mix some low carb vegetables in there as well but yeah that's basically our weekly haul it is 11 a.m and we have been fasting for almost 17 hours we finished dinner at around six o'clock last night so i'm hungry i'm gonna make some breakfast for the two of us we're gonna have some eggs bacon and the avocado is not ripe yet so we're probably we have some in the fridge we have some in the fridge from last week so and then yeah. we'll probably finish it off with some berries yeah and then maybe a bite of chocolate <laughs> if you liked our video today give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment down below what videos you want to see from us in the future